Ooh, what's up guys and welcome to our video from me, the Skyrunner. And today we're gonna do something similar to yesterday. We're gonna upload a few rounds from the Lipio, and this time we're actually gonna look at a guy from a different bracket to his speed, and I'm of course Sita. Um, Esclo, is, which is the guy we're gonna follow this time around, is from the Delta. Now, um, he has had some close ass battles as of right now in season 6, or <laughs> sorry, and not season 6, but round 6. So, a very, very interesting battler. He's very, very good with synergy and have a good feeling what works and what not. And he is not going against this uh, easy at all, going up against a guy like. Verlet's first round. Verlet was a previous champ, lost a D-Train previous season, and he's definitely out for blood. And just looking to this uh, star up here, we're just gonna go through Verlet's team a little fast here. We got Florius, Sissel, Alakasam. Um, oh, I always forgot that Pokemon. Mandibus, Rose Rage, and Galventula. So, very, very speedy with two Pokemon being in, like defining walls, but a lot of speed of this team. Um, it's gonna be tough to deal with. Florius is actually really tough for uh, Escalov to deal with, besides the Escavaldier. Um, of course, as he is also having uh, Lexavar, Mandibus, Confederios, Glisco, and Gardevoir. And uh, I should say this I have seen these battles before some, quite some time ago. So um, that goes for all three of his battles. I do have, I have seen them, but uh, don't really recall how they end. So anyway, with all this wine guys, let's actually just watch this battle. Um, I have really no idea if Galventula is the lead here from Birdlet. Uh, it's going to be very interesting. Uh, right, going to start with the Escavolt here as nice. And we get Galventula lead, of course. Um, there's a sticky web, right? Um, going to get the feeling that Esco really want to break that set with a knockoff. But he's actually going for an Arnid. Which is not enough because of resisted damage, and uh, Verlet is gonna preserve that Calventula. Alright, going into the killer. Which is, of course, the Manibus. Can we expect Rocky Helmet here? Kind of feels like that. Uh, no? Leftovers. Alright. It uh, doesn't really matter. Uh, Fall played us a lot with Escavaldier, so definitely, you know, get out of there. Um, really don't want to take that. I can definitely see that one coming. Um, and yeah, there's a foul play. Good thing Verl did not go for a whirlwind. That would have been terrible. Ooh, right. That's leftovers. That means that this glitch score is not the stall set. It's the hyper cutter with default, most likely. Interesting. Interesting. Um, glitch score is still like a very, very good wall. But hyper cutter is definitely an inferior ability uh, with poisoning and whatnot. So anyway, there's the stealth rocks, right? So it's definitely a supporter set. It's not really a bad idea. It really isn't. I think Blisker got access to roots too, so it actually can pull this off. But yeah, ooh, is that hidden power ice? Oh, oh. Ouch. That's that's bad. That's really bad. Having Blisker wheel down like that is not good. Not good at all. It did take it though. It did take it, but damn, damn. All right, so there's the Unsolid. Um, Rose Raid has one of those very, very nice abilities of Technician, which means it's hidden power yet boosted to 90 instead of 60. It's Rose Raid extremely dangerous in this kind of format, and um, yeah, this was gonna sack the Gliscor. Um, Cat the Night Effect probably is a good option. So uh, yeah, here's the Confagrigus. Ooh, I really hope you crack Trick Room. Because if so, then I actually have a very, very nice situation if you have packs that. Let's see what happens. He is gonna go for the Willow! Alright. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Is that the right call to make? Oof. I mean, the Giga Rain did so much. To really pack the Leaf Storm? I wonder. So, alright, gonna go into Pimp Crow. That is the Hunch Crow, definitely. Red, another Giga Rain. Right, that's fine then. Um, just did about the same. It's really hurting. It's really hurting. Now, Hunch Crow has access to um, Moxie, which means that it can build momentum if it gets a chance to do so. 
Um, let's see what's happened. Killer's gonna come in, that of course is the mana bus yet again. Hmm. Alright, went for Sucker Punch. Ooh, that, that's dangerous though, that's real dangerous. Um, because our pursuit would probably have killed it no matter what. Uh, so that's a tough call to make. Let's see, the Braver does. <laughs> oh no! 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 <laughs> That's a dead. Oh no! It actually lived. It actually lived. It took the foul play. Incredible. All right. Gonna switch. All right. Guess he could use that sucker punch to some extent, but really risking the roost. Are we gonna do that? Right. Gonna trans overcoat. It's not really gonna help here. All right. At least. At least Verl did not go for the roost. That's good, that's good. Um, so right, is Gardevoir his Mega? Yeah, it is. Uh, this is power though, this is like real power. Too bad his Sick Web is up, because that definitely make things complicated. Ooh, Manipus outspeeds! How, how? Of course with a Sticky Web, but damn! I thought Manibus was slow. I guess God War just isn't that fast. Interesting. Interesting. Alright, that's... That's really unfortunate, to be honest. Alright, there's a Devil's Trigger. Um, is this the Mega? It's the Mega. It's the Mega! <laughs> Alright, I actually dropped my own scissors, so it's kinda good to see Verly using one of these. Let's see, of course, there's a Bullet Punch, and... That's why I didn't have speed. It's defensive. Hit a power fire. Boom! Damn! That that was actually really cool. That was actually really cool. All right. <laughs> That's. I can see that working. Uh, I can definitely see that one working. Wow! Nice move, Esclo. Right, Flodius against Matabi. Right, Lectivire. Now, Electar is really scary in this format. It's super, super, super strong. But I don't know if I would sit in here. No, he's not feeling that one either. Um, into I'm hot then. Alright. Ooh, what happens here? Moonblast. Is Confederate Special Defensive here? He probably isn't. And what makes that even worse is that. He's definitely not thinking that was. That is... that's bad. That's really bad. Right, he's at... ooh! Pain Split? Please tell me one for a Pain Split, that would have been such an incredible play. No! <laughs> no, 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 no! No! That was extremely risky of Verletto, uh, but damn! That was a missed opportunity. Oh, that really sucks. That really sucks. Right, Armor Knight's gonna come back here. Um, it should be a Salt Vested coming in like that. Uh, right, Da Vinci, Hidden Power, Hidden Power Fire? Ooh, ho, 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 ho. That's awful. Let's see, and that's not Sash. Life Orb then. Interesting. Right, so unsolid, right, road straight, really dangerous road straight here. <sighs> road straight is now able to outspeed everything in his team. And he must have hidden power. I wonder. Oh, I would not have done that. I would not have done that. I would not have fought her up. No. No. Yeah, that sucker punch. Ooh, what a waste. Oof. That was probably the only thing that was gonna be able to stop it because of the um, stick whip. Oh, foo, 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 that's bad. Right, so he's predicting it to be scarf though, so that's that's kinda good to know, I guess. Um, so he's actually fearing the scarf. And with that damage, I'll say that probably, or more, more likely. Uh, I wonder now who's. Oh, oh, actually, stays in. Keep going. He's gonna risk the moonblast. 
even he does he ha does have the assault vest um, escadrille but he's not risking that and with that damage I really don't see him being able to deal with any damage from the Rose Raid now I do believe Rose Raid naturally outspeeds here um, which will be extremely unfortunate if that's the case um, it's definitely scarf like it's not banded damage it's scarf damage that is locked into that so, right let's find out let's find out if, with, if that sack actually mattered so, right yeah it outspeeds Ooh. oh if you just switched out to excavate you would get such a major momentum there but it's not gonna matter or he could have stalled the burned out with that no no not like this! Not losing like this! No! Uh, this is his last turn. Yeah, this is it. Verlet win 1-0. Oh. oh no! No! And it lives because the burn damage is not there. Wow! I think Esco actually had his game. I think he screwed up. I think he screwed up badly here. Oh, so rough. That is rough. Both play great, though. A, a lot of amazing displays for both of them. Both were preparing for each other's uh, bug steel type. And um, I guess the only thing that really stood out here from my side was that um, Esco had two chances of winning this battle. Um, had he not, had he decided to sack um, the Escavolger there, it would have been fine. Uh, because he would lock himself into uh, Electavar and have the Hunt Crow left to go for Sucker Punch last turn, or if he switched out against uh, uh, Rose Ray at the end there and go into um, his Escavolger just to stall out the burn, and he would actually want that too. So it's incredibly unfortunate because I think Esquivel was the word winner, he just did not see or make the right calls at the end, then sometimes it is that close because these two battlers are really good so it requires very little to lose a game like this um, like I said, major props to both of you incredible fun battle, a really close one, definitely you both Sean and Braun so awesome game guys and I'll see you in round 2